It didn't take long for the fast moving mill fire to wreak havoc on the town of Weed. A lot of kids in the neighborhood were crying because their parents weren't there because they were at work. And so we're trying to contact the parents to get to the kids and we're trying to calm the kids down. Chaos, devastation, and now tragedy. Siskiyou County Sheriff Jeremiah LaRue breaking the news to his community that two people were killed in the fire. Some of you may have already heard of that or heard rumors of that. There's no easy way of putting that. Tough news, especially for a tight-knit town scrambling to get ahead of the flames. The mill fire doubled in size in just two days, scorching more than 4,000 acres, prompting firefighters from the Sacramento region to rush that way. Anytime there's a fatality, we're obviously on a heightened alert. Uh, we feel for our community, it's heartbreaking for us when we hear these things. We're going to continue, as firefighters, we're going to continue to do what we do. Captain Parker Wilborn with SAC Metro tells me they just moved some of their crews from the Rum Creek Fire in Oregon to Siskiyou County. What kind of equipment will your team have that can help out? Because this is obviously a fast moving fire that just continues to explode. So we will have uh, apparatus that will be able to directly fight those flames. They're sending type three engines, ones that can pump and roll to protect the structures and also redirect the flames. Crews now battling the even larger mountain fire, also in Siskiyou County. People know that we're struggling. We've been through a lot and they are here at a moment's notice to come and help us. Now, much of the damage is in Lincoln Heights, historically known as the Quarters and once home to a flourishing black community. We were there Friday to see the nearly entire neighborhood burned to the ground.